Welcome to the Gentleman's Guide. This is the fourth installment of my four-part series on how to attract 99% of women. If you didn't get a chance to check out the first three keys to attracting women, make sure you check that out so you have some context of some of the concepts that I'll be talking about. We'll post the links right here. So, picking up from where we left off, the fourth and final key to attracting women is maximizing your looks. Look, I know that out of the four keys, this is probably the most controversial. There seems to be a very black and white perception of how a man's looks directly affects his ability to attract women. On one hand, I often see people making the assertion that looks are everything, that some people are just born with winning the genetic lottery. They claim that unless you're a 6 foot 2 with the body of Adonis, you're simply doomed to being unable to attract quality women. On the other hand, I also see others make the claim that looks don't matter at all. That even if you're a 4 foot dude with the physique of Humpty Dumpty who gets his hair cut once every 6 months, you'll still be able to attract the woman of your dreams as long as you have game. The truth is, looks matter, in some cases a lot, in other cases not a lot, but they do matter. With that being said, looks don't matter nearly as much as some people believe. When it comes to looks, studies have shown that women judge physical attractiveness in men far less based on physical dimensions and far more based on how they present themselves through style and grooming. If you take a man in a baggy t-shirt and basketball shorts and give him a professional haircut with a nice three-piece suit, you'll instantly bump up his looks by orders of magnitude. Now, of course there are some stereotypically masculine physical traits such as a great jawline and tall height that women tend to find attractive, but having less of these qualities will hardly hold you back if you can maximize other areas of your looks. So don't worry guys, no matter how ugly you think you are, and chances are you're probably not, there's hope for you yet. There's an important distinction to make between someone who's good looking and someone who's attractive. Not everyone is born good looking, but anyone can be attractive with time and effort. And remember that at the end of the day, women want a man who's attractive. As we just discussed, the uncomfortable truth is that outward appearance does matter a lot when attracting women. Your outward appearance is a reflection of how invested you are in yourself, and someone who's extremely self-invested will naturally have the psychological side benefits of feeling more confident and interesting, more attractive to others. If people can see that you don't put a lot of time and effort into how you present yourself into the world, then that will tell them that you subconsciously don't respect yourself. So the obvious first steps include grooming, taking showers every day, brushing and flossing your teeth, wearing deodorant and cologne, shaving and haircuts, etc. This is some pretty basic stuff that if you don't already do, then I don't know what to tell you besides. Start doing it. Now, we'll dive deeper on what you can do to immediately improve your looks, specifically style and physical fitness. I can promise you guys, there is nothing that will improve your looks and appearance faster than by working on your sense of style and fashion and by getting in shape. Being fit and having style will literally transform a man's results with women by threefold. Style Someone who commits to upgrading their wardrobe and their overall sense of style will have such a huge positive effect on their dating life that they won't believe that they're the same person. Yes, the difference between someone who's stylish and not is night and day. It will literally make meeting and dating women three to four times easier. So the first thing, wear clothes that fit you well. Most men don't wear clothes that fit them properly. Since many guys are practical, they value comfort over style and thus buy clothes that are simply too big. But wearing clothes that fit well is extremely important. You can be wearing a shirt from Burberry or Gucci. If it doesn't fit well, it isn't going to look good on you. So throw out anything that doesn't fit well. I'd also suggest you go to a tailor and get your measurements taken if you don't already know them. Dress shirts should not have cuffs that go past your wrists, pants should never sag from your waist, and the bottom of your pants should rest just on top of your shoes. Second thing, match your clothes. Matching is something that most guys don't do, but it's actually pretty simple. Try to keep a consistent tone throughout your outfit. For example, a black pair of shoes would match with darker sets of clothes, such as a black belt and black jacket. In general, I suggest getting a dozen neutral color shirts, black, navy, gray, olive green, etc and a few pair of nice designer jeans with both lighter and darker washes to match your outfit. Don't overthink matching your clothes, but overall it should give the impression that you're not trying to do too much at once. Third thing, dress to your overall style. A 50 year old accounting manager should not be wearing a baggy hoodie, just like a 20 year old college student shouldn't be wearing Armani exchange suits around campus. Cater your dressing style to your personality. If you feel like dressing like a rapper suits your personality and you can pull it off, then go for it. If your personality is more hipstery and nerdy, go for that look. I'd suggest going online to different lookbook sites where you can see how people with vastly different personalities and styles dress to get a taste of what inspires you. 
Physical fitness. There are few things that you can do that will have as immediate as an impact as to how attractive you come across is your level of physical fitness. It's going to give you a better overall first impression and it's an honest signal that you take care of and value yourself. It's going to give you more energy, make you live longer, and it will also give women the impression that you can take care of her and will be around long enough to help her take care of kids, etc. So get yourself in the gym. Going to the gym can be simple and doesn't need to be too hard. I'm not going to give you the scientific breakdown of bodybuilding as a science, as there are countless YouTube channels that already do that. What I will say is that for fitness, there are only really two keys, diet and exercise. Being in the gym does not need to be such a chore, and you don't need to go to the gym 7 days a week to have a decent physique. Going for 3-4 days a week to the gym for just an hour with a decent routine is more than enough to maintain a decent physique. You should be lifting weights and looking to build some muscle. This will increase your testosterone, raise your energy, decrease depression and anxiety, and just make you feel better about yourself overall. If you just do the major compound lifts like the bench press, deadlift, squat, and then a pulling exercise like the pull up followed by abs like once a week, then you're probably good. If you're overweight, combine lifting weights with some fun form of cardio, soccer, basketball, calisthenics, whatever. You should also be trying to eat clean and to eat the proper amount of calories based on your goals. If you just want a decent diet regimen and are like most people, you generally should eat a decent amount of protein and lower on the carbs. Honestly, if you just cut out soda, candy, fast food, and desserts, you'll already see a huge difference. Try to eat more things that come from nature instead of processed foods. Whether you want to follow a specific diet is up to you and your goals. Just be wary that there's a lot of food information out there and not all of it is going to be relevant for your specific goals. Finally. Make sure you drink enough water and get enough sleep. Doctors recommend anywhere from 6 to 9 hours a night. And one last thing, your haircut. I guess this kind of falls under the style category, but I thought that your haircut is so important that it deserves its own section. Similarly to how having a great sense of style is kind of an honest indicator of how cool you are and how much you get it, think of your haircut as kind of a piece of clothing, except that you wear it every single day no matter what, so it's even more important. Getting a good haircut should suit your face and it should look good even a few weeks from now. Most guys just get a $10 to $15 haircut, which is fine once you've figured out your style, but I recommend getting a good haircut just once or twice to figure out what works best for you. The best tip is to have pictures on your phone of what type of haircut you want of people that look like you. Pick someone with similar facial shape, body type, and ethnicity as you, as whatever looks good on them will probably look good on you. Look at celebrities who are in roles where girls want to get with their character in that role. Take those pictures to a barber and ask them if that hairstyle is possible with your hair. Some things just won't be doable with your hair, but others will be, and especially if you're willing to go to more extreme lengths like hair treatment or anything like that. When you're finished with your haircut, ask the barber to teach you how to style your hair. Even if you have a good haircut, if you do a crappy job styling it every day, then you might as well not even have a good haircut. 5 minutes a day with the right product is all it takes to look your best. So get a really good haircut from a high-end place just once, learn how to style it, and then from there you can get less expensive haircuts once you actually know what look you want and how to style it properly. Gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for the fourth and final installment of my four-part series on how to attract 99% of women. I hope that this series gave you a baseline foundation that you can start incorporating into your day-to-day -day lifestyle. If you learned something valuable from this video or the series that you're excited to try, click here to subscribe for more weekly content. Until then, see you later.